few days into the Club Paradise tour, this is your first big tour as a solo artist. How has the experience been for you so far? It's been a great experience. I've done, you know, um, a lot of shows coming from 2011 going into 2012, spot days, but they've been consistent. But just going out here with, uh, with Drake is a, is a very diverse crowd. Um, we started off on the West Coast, San Francisco. It was actually my first time ever even being in the city. It was beautiful and the, um, the reception was great. So I'm enjoying myself so far so good. With you being out on tour, you do a lot of features. Are you focusing more now on the shows? Or are you still continuing to record? I have some features to do today. I, I definitely have to continue um, doing my features. The shows, they kind of come. They, they, they're going to come how they're going to come. I mean, that, that's a lifestyle. That's something that I do on the norm. So it's not a lot of um, mental preparation going into it. It's kind of like, you know, it is what it is. You got to do what you got to do and make sure some people remember you once you leave that stage, you know. Right now, you are like the feature king. Like you are that go-to person for a hot record. How are you connecting with all these different artists? Like how are they connecting with you to even get you on these all these records? I just think I'm very transparent. It's like what you see is what you get as far as um, I'm just, um, I'm comfortable in my own skin. I have a lot of peers in the rap game that respect my journey and where I came from and knowing it wasn't an overnight success. So um, for the most part, it's just about me being consistent and, and still, you know, keeping that quality going. You being on tour, you doing all these features, and now you are actually in A and R, and you are going to be A and Ring Luda's new LP, Ludaverse. Can you tell us how that came about and, and how far along you are in the project with him? My whole deal was just recruiting, um, you know, gathering beats and giving it to him and giving him an opportunity to, uh, to rap over beats that, in my opinion, I, I thought that he would sound good on. You know what I mean? So. Um, I did that for his mixtape that he dropped, and then I just submitted some beats for his album. Not knowing if I'm gonna make it, you know, but I just had an obligation. I just wanted to fulfill my end of the bargain. You know, recently you have been getting all this attention socially. On Twitter, you were just trending just your name for like two days after you did 106 in Park with Kanye. And then recently, What Would 2 Chain Say was trending for like a day and a half, and even celebrities were taking part. Like, how do you take that all in? It could become a little bit overwhelming, but every time I think I'm gonna sit down and really soak it in, I have another feature to do. And my whole thing about features is, of course, the turnaround, especially if they're spending their money, and I wanna give them their money's worth. And so, you know, that mixed with me working on my album that's coming out August the 14th, based on a true story. Those two things have me so occupied that I'm not able to really um, digest what's going on. With, with your album coming out in you know, just a few months, do you think you're going to get to that point where you're going to say, no, I need to focus more on my album? Definitely. I'm in the middle of doing that right now. I'm only doing stuff that makes sense for me and my campaign. A lot of the favors that people wanted me to do, I almost wanted you to get them out of me you know, a couple months ago. So now I'm in the process where I'm working on the album and also Dev Jam feels it's in the best interest for me to slow down on a few of those features you dig. So let's go into your album a bit. Like how far along are you? You want to tell us who's featuring actually, so far? I'm actually working on my second album. You know what I'm saying? My first album, Ken said, I never say it's done until I actually turn it in because I treat the songs on my first album like actual people and I feel like they've earned spots on my album and if you want to get on my album, then you really have to bring something crazy to the table because I'm really excited about some of the songs I have. And then as far as the features, I like to kind of keep that on the hush because I still like that element of surprise in hip hop. That's what kind of drew me to it as a youngster. And um, so I just like, like, like to bring that back to the table. Just know it's jamming. Um, I'm working hard on it every day. You have relationships with, you know, there's Young Money, Cash Money, there's MMG, there's even, um, you know, Kanye has taken an interest in you. Can we expect maybe an announcement or just you deciding to go with one of those camps, especially good music? No, me and Kanye has grown to be very respectable friends in each other's field, you know, like. And if it would be somebody, it, it would be due because I respect him highly for a lot of different things. With your recent success as being a solo artist, do you feel like it's bittersweet knowing, you know, Player Circle didn't get the same recognition when you guys came out? No, honestly, I thought, and Dolly used to say this all the time, that we were ahead of our time. Um, people actually go back now and say, man, you was jamming like hell. Like, they go back and listen to it now. So, 
for the most part, uh, when making and creating music as a solo artist and as player circuit, we wanted to do something that people weren't doing. We wanted to add substance to the game. And sometimes when you don't do the norm, it's looked at kind of weird. Like, you know what I mean? It's kind of looked at like, like that's not normal. We're not used to that. What up, what up, man? It's your player partner, 2 Chains, And right now I'm locked in with Civil TV. Karma Loop, you feel me? True.